Hello, this is Janet Andravia. Welcome to Everest Physics Academy. In this video, we are going to perform the experiment in order to obtain the diffraction pattern associated with the human hair. Use the obtained diffraction pattern in order to calculate the width of the central bright fringe. Measure the distance between the slit and the viewing screen in order to calculate the angular width of the central bright fringe. And use the expression of the angular width in order to calculate the diameter of the hair. Take a look at Fraunhofer diffraction associated with a human hair. Here we have a helium neon laser of wavelength 633 nanometers. Now we have here a human hair. Now I will put the human hair in the path of the laser beam. What do we observe on the screen? We expect to observe a dark line down the center of the bright spot. But this is not the reality. Actually, as you see, we observe a diffraction pattern similar to that of the thin slit. Now, the hair is vertical and the pattern is horizontal. What happens if I place the hair in a horizontal position? Look, the pattern becomes vertical. This picture is actually an enhanced version of the diffraction pattern observed in the experiment without changing the dimensions. Let's use this pattern in order to determine the diameter of the used human hair. So, we are going to explain the procedures through answering the following questions. 1a. Compare the width of the central brighter fringe with those of the other brighter fringes. Look at the figure. This spot represents the central brighter fringe. This spot represents the first brighter fringe on the right side and this spot represents the first brighter fringe on the left side. So we can conclude that the central brighter fringe has a width double that of the other brighter fringes. 1b. Identify points A and B on the diffraction pattern. Look at the figure again. This point represents the center of the first brighter fringe on the left side. So A represents the center of the second brighter fringe on the left side. Similarly, B represents the center of the second brighter fringe on the right side of the central brighter fringe. Focus please, this is important. Using a ruler, we measure the distance between A and B. It equals 55 millimeters. Now let's use this distance to calculate the linear width of the central fringe. Look at point A. It is the center of the second bright fringe on the left side of the central fringe. Look at the green point. The green point is the center of the second dark fringe on the left side. The distance between the green point and the white point is all over 4 because the distance between the center of a bright fringe and the next dark fringe is all over 4. Look at the red point. The red point is the center of the first dark fringe on the left side. The distance between the green point and the red point is all over 2 because this is the width of a bright fringe. Now. L is the width of the central bright fringe. Look at the blue point. It is the center of the second dark fringe on the right side. What is the distance between the red point and the blue point? It is L over 2. And what is the distance between the blue point and the white point, which is point B? It is L over 4. Then, the distance AB equals L over 4 plus L over 2 plus L plus L over 2 plus L over 4, which is equal to 2.5 L. Now, replace AB by 55 millimeters. Then, L equals 55 over 2.5. Therefore, L equals 22 millimeters. In our experiment, we measured the distance D between the viewing screen and the slit. It equals 3.5 meters. Let's use the value of D 
in order to calculate the angular width of the central bridal fringe and then we can calculate the diameter of the hair. 2a. Determine the value of the angular width of the central bridal fringe. Look at the figure. Using this right angle the triangle, tangent theta 1 equals the opposite x1 over the adjacent d, but x1 represents the distance between the center of the central bridal fringe and the center of the first dark fringe. So x1 equals L over 2. So tangent theta 1 equals L over 2 over D. Since the refraction angles are small, so tangent theta 1 is approximately equal theta 1. So we can write theta 1 equals L over 2D. Then L can be written as 2 theta 1 times D. But alpha or the angular width of the central brighter fringe equals 2 theta 1. Now we can replace 2 theta 1 by alpha. This is going to be L equals alpha D. Then alpha equals L over D. L equals 22 millimeter, which is equivalent to 22 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters over D, which is equal to 3.5 meters. Then alpha equals 6.29 times 10 to the power minus 3 radians. After calculating the angular width of the central fringe, now we are ready to calculate the diameter of the hair used in our experiment. While doing the experiment, we said that the diffraction pattern of a human hair is similar to that of a narrow slit. Then the expression of the diffraction angles is n lambda over d, where d is the diameter of the human hair. In a previous slide, we determined the expression of the angular width. It is 2 theta 1. Now, how can we obtain the expression of theta 1? We just replace n by 1 in the expression of theta n. Then, theta 1 equals lambda over d. Replace theta 1 in the expression of alpha by lambda over d. We get... 2 lambda over d. Now, replace alpha by 6.29 times 10 to the power minus 3 and lambda by 633 times 10 to the power minus 9. Then, the diameter of the hair used in the experiment is 0 0.2 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters or 0 0.2 millimeters. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share.